Hello buddy and welcome to the very first video on this channel. So you just saw me move this bookcase. I have a really beautiful uh, glass cabinet uh, right over there as well, just out of frame. I'm really excited to arrange this, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I got loads of books in boxes over there. I recently moved, so everything around me <laughs> is a mess. Uh, I lost some stuff, like I don't know where my makeup is. And I hope to find it while I arrange my books. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. Arranging plants and books. So if you're just here for that, skip ahead a minute. We're just going to do a time lapse and talk about some of the uh, more special stuff I have. So I'm really looking forward to that. But as I said, it is the first video on this channel. So I've got some reasons you should stay and subscribe. Some of you may know me as a festival vlogger, so I have this main channel, if you don't know me, um, where I do festival vlogs, artist interviews, and even now there are no parties and stuff. I still do a lot of collabs with artists in the hard and scene, I interview people starting some new series. I'm really excited for that, and I love that channel, but parting Elena is very much weekend Elena. I'm very introverted, usually. Um, I love books. I love plants, I recently got into sewing, uh, I love traveling and there's so much I want to explore. So that's what this channel is going to be all about, like the other side of me. So next video after this one, I'm going to do a sewing video, make this really cool t-shirt into a crop top. Uh, I want to do vlogmas, stuff like that. So if you want to, please subscribe and let's get started. I'll show you what we're working with because uh, I need to clean this first. I got this second hand. I'm really happy with it. It was a hell to put together, but I've done it. Um, obviously, it's not entirely done yet, so I'm gonna finish it now and then show you what I'm working with. So, let's do this. The arrows feel blind, tears are running fast. Still, apathy is all I've got. And I know, and I know it's hard to keep up sometimes. And I know, and I know, I just want to make things right But as the sun goes down, and shadows fill the town Give me a reason, a reason, I'm falling down Okay, so I just cleaned everything, I put everything in This is not the way I'm gonna arrange it, but it's okay for now I'm going to show you what we all have, let me just wait so this is the full bookcase. I'm not gonna arrange it like this. And I also have a ladder uh, for on top of there, like the holes are right here. Not sure if I'm gonna use that. I got some panels for down there to close some space off if I want to. So I'm just gonna get my books and see what I can do. Obviously it is second hand, so there's stuff like this where they didn't paint it, but I might put one of the panels here and or buy some white paint, I don't know. So pretty much everything I had in my last place was secondhand or thrifted. I actually really love that. Like you can see it's used. It's really nice actually. Um, most of the books I have are new, like a third or a half are thrifted. And I do want to get more secondhand books because I realized it's really not necessary to get them new. Pretty much all of my clothes are secondhand or thrifted as well. So I really enjoy things like that. I might do something more about that on this channel as well. Um, let's see what we're working with. So we got this bookcase and then this. These are all of my books. So this one actually lights up, but it has a few of my favorites. Vessels here, I'm not the kind of person that keeps all of the bracelets. I go to like 80 uh, festivals every year, usually, so that's not doable. But I do have like Hard Dance Event, at which I spoke last year. Um, this is Into the Woods, which was also Amsterdam Dance Event. New Horizons, which is honestly one of my favorites. It was so cool, the location was amazing. Um, Tomorrowland, which I haven't actually been to, but I got this. Um, from when I went to a stream party. Uh, this one was from when I filmed at uh, DJ school, which is really cool as well. Of course, I got a GPF one. Um, this is some more Amsterdam dance fans, stuff like that. I, I do have more, but this is just what I found. Okay. 
okay this is another thing i wanted to show you because these it these this is my photo book for all my instax instax whatever you want to call it pictures and i don't know i need to still put this in but i don't know where my photo tape is so i'll put these both from halloween here um other than that make sure they don't fall um these were the first first pictures i took um then i have the whole denmark journey next time i'm going on a holiday like this i will definitely film it as well but this was so so much fun i really love this and then here are go it's going to be a page with all of my pictures from videos i did um with with people so this was from Town five and then of course they today michelle and uh two halloween videos i just showed you and then oh, other adventures so i just put these in and then i can just pick them out and make a whole page about it as soon as i'm done so this is really a lot of fun to do just gonna put this away carefully now because there's some loose shit in there right now i'm just wondering how things are going south this was supposed to be my year you can see your reflection in every distraction that will make your worries disappear And it is overwhelming There's something you can pretend Feelings box up So before we move on I want to show you my favorite book and also say I haven't read as much of these as I thought uh, I got a lot of them secondhand recently and I haven't gone through all of them yet so um, I got some stuff to do when I'm home in this pandemic. Anyway, ow. Ah, I heard my phone. My favorite book is Everything is Illuminated by Jonathan Safran Foer. And I actually have a tattoo of my favorite quote well, part of it, which I'll show you. You can see it. And I'm going to read the quote to you. So I have the quote here on my phone. I just have it saved to my notes because, you know, I kind of often read it and uh, when I talk to people about it it's easy as well because it's quite a long quote but the quote is Rod discovered 613 sadnesses each perfectly unique each a singular emotion no more similar to any other sadness than to anger ecstasy guilt or frustration mirror sadness sadness of domesticated birds sadness of being sad in front of one's parent humor sadness sadness of love without release she was like a drowning person flailing reaching for anything that might save her her life was an urgent, desperate struggle to justify her life. So that's my favorite quote. Um, I've also been reading this. Jurassic Park. So I've always loved these movies and I finally started reading it. But I'll get more into stuff like this later after I finish. I really hope it's not too bad. I really love this. Uh, it's getting cold, so I'm moving it inside. And I'm now gonna figure out how I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna put them on small plates. Am I 100% happy with how everything turned out? No. Am I really happy with the progress I made today? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I did today. After the whole place is done, I'll do like a house tour, but there's still a lot of boxes and stuff. So that will come in a few months, I suppose. So this is what it looks like now. Sorry for the reflection from the window behind me, but this is the little garden I have. I have like paprikas which is doing really well it's just a little bit wonky because of the move so i hope that will turn out fine we got some mint uh, i got some strawberries and i got some broccoli which is looking kind of rough at the moment wait let me open it it's looking kind of rough at the moment so i'll fix that tomorrow some yellow 
stuff in here as well. So I'll fix that. Am I happy with this? No. I do have a lot more plants, but they're spread out through my house and nothing really I want to put here yet. This one I want to hang somewhere so it can grow down, but I don't have a space for it yet. So I'll get some new plants soon and then fill this. I'll show you. Follow me on Instagram if you're interested in stuff like that. Then I'll find a beautiful space for that. So this is the first part. These are most like just normal reading books. I read most of these, not all of these, but I color coded them. I think it looks really nice. And down here we got Nasty Galaxy and my diploma, which I think just looks really nice. Some, these are just some like, what do you call them? Lifestyle books, I suppose. Then I got some old school books from me and I really used to love these as a kid. They have like, wait, let me show you. Like all kinds of stuff about the world you could learn from. I used to love these so much as a kid. Look how old they are. Anyway, I got some old CDs here. I don't actually listen to these anymore, but it just looks really nice. You can really see what I was into when I was 15. Um, I got the Lord of the Rings extended DVDs. I got Monty Python, some old PlayStation 2 stuff. Then I got all my mangas over here. Um, I got the whole collection of... But then I got some more collections over here. I got some stuff from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So Sherlock Holmes and some... Like these are really old. Then I got the Witcher series. Only got two so far. I'm gonna buy the third one really soon because I love it. Uh, as I said, I'm reading Jurassic Park right now, but after that I'll continue this because I love it. We don't really stand JK Rowling anymore, but I still have these books and I mean, they look cool. So yeah. So I got my dinosaur book over here. I really love this. I mean, I've always been a dinosaur fan. One of the plants, like the other ones I have right here. I like this. These plants are supposed to be like this. You get what I mean. Then I got some Instax pictures. If it focus, yeah, one from Halloween. Focus, please, yes. And then with my mom and sister and with Ryan, of course. Obviously, I can always stick these in the book I just showed you. I will leave some space for them where they belong and then I can switch them out because it's just with, you know, photo tape, so I can remove them carefully. And that's pretty much it. I got some stuff over here. I'm not really happy with like the last part, if I'm gonna be honest. What I'm thinking, I don't really like the maps and the printer over there, so I think I'll put that in one box and then put one of the panels in front of it and then switch that around a little bit. I do like the pictures and stuff mixed with everything. So we'll get there. So I'm gonna sit by here because I'm pretty sure this has been a long video. Uh, I'm really happy with the progress. If you have some suggestions, let me know. The next video is going to be a sewing video. I'm gonna make a shirt into a crop top. I really love the shirt, but it's way too big on me. So we're going to do that. If you like this, please leave a like. Please become a subscriber of this channel. Um, I'm really excited for this journey. Do something different. I really had fun today. So I hope you did too. And yeah. I'll see you soon.